Hi, my name is Haluma Benesal and I'm your Student Council Prime Minister for this school year. And I'm so excited to welcome you to our first virtual pep rally of this year. And I'm also excited to introduce you to your very own Student Advisory Council. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So Hey Tigers, welcome to our first ever virtual pep rally. I know we're very used to gathering shoulder to shoulder in the gym celebrating our awesome school spirit, but I also know that our school spirit is so strong it's transcendent. It flows through each of us, connecting us to one another regardless of the physical distance that may lie between us. I want to thank our student council for their hard work in keeping us together and keeping us connected. Tigers, may the spirit be with you. Xavier, we want to see if you have spirit. So we're going to test out in the next quiz to see how much you know about your school, St. Francis Xavier. The quiz is going to last for five minutes, so go quick. The link and code will be pre uh, presented either in the comments, and as well as the winner will be presented at the end of the pep rally. See you guys.
Well, Mara, what did you think of that Kahoot trivia? Yeah, it was pretty hilarious if I do say so myself. Hey, wait, Farah, are we on track? Um, I don't know, Mara. What time is it? Uh, can you check the clock, actually? Yeah, sure. That's weird. Why does my phone say it's 1995? Well, it looks a bit like we just went back in time a few years. You know what that means, right? Yes, actually, I do. I think it's time for our next event, the Throwback TikTok Compilations. When you're spending every day on your own, and here it goes. I'm just a kid, and a life is a nightmare. When you're spending every day on your own, and here it goes. I'm just a kid, and a life is a nightmare. When you're spending every day on your own, and here it goes. I'm just a kid, and a life is a nightmare. When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare Spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare when you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare when you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a Hey Xavier, it's Mara here with some pretty exciting news. So we know that with all the different events and initiatives going on within the school, sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around everything that student council is doing and the things that we're planning on doing. So that's why your grade reps have teamed up together to create monthly videos in which they talk about what have just passed and the events to expect in the next couple weeks. So without further ado, I present to you our very first ever Sack Rundown. Let's give it a watch. Hey Xavier. So we know school is kind of confusing. So here's a quick recap of what we've done so far. Earlier in the year, we hosted fall elections where your grade nine representatives, student voice, and student advisors were chosen. Later on, we hosted many events regarding awareness to the indigenous community, like Secret Path Week and Orange Shirt. We also improvise new ways to connect and help make things easier by introducing the extremely helpful My School Day app, the online club fair, and the mentorship program. The My School Day app has very useful features, like checking your schedule, instant messaging, and a direct link to school cash online to pay your school fees. The mentorship program is a program where grade nines will get their own mentors and participate in fun and challenging events. It's a great place and community to get to know each other and loosen up. So if you're interested in becoming a mentor or a mentee, you can email or DM us. Lastly, we hosted Senior Spirit Week and our Halloween event. The seniors had a blast in taking part of Among Us and Trivias. In our Halloween week, we give you fun challenges and contests. Check our previous Instagram posts to see our winners for those contests. Maybe you can join in next time. That's all for October. So far in November, we've hosted small initiatives for Remembrance Day and World Kindness Day. As you've probably noticed, this week is Spirit Week, which includes some great fun virtual activities. Over the next few weeks, SAC will be introducing grad wear for seniors and spirit wear for all students. We'll also be posting some information about the White Ribbon Campaign, and best of all, we'll be introducing something Xavier has never seen, Xavier has never seen before, a SAC Spotify account with playlists for your everyday school moods. If you missed any of these events, 
make sure to give our Instagram page at effects tigers a follow. We post everything council related on there. If you ever have any suggestions or concerns, always feel free to message your grade rep. Have a great day and see you in December, Xavier. Now, we're going to hear from FX's very own show choir, who are going to be singing a cover of Warrior by Kesha. That was great. What an impressive performance. I couldn't agree more, Shalomi. And now we're going to watch a cooking vlog from Xavier's very own chef, Caesar. Hey everyone, it's Caesar here. I'm going to be doing a cooking vlog for this year's Spirit Week. Today we're going to be making some barbecue mac and cheese, and I'm going to go over the ingredients. We're going to be using some, some cilantro, some kosher salt, some barbecue sauce, elbow macaroni, some chicken broth, mozzarella cheese, you can use whatever type of cheese you want, but I recommend and prefer using mozzarella. Some garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, and finally some cream cheese for the actual sauce. I use two chicken breasts, you can use two, two chicken thighs as long as it's some form of chicken that you can shred. Uh, we are not going to season it just yet because we're actually going to boil it. So we're going to add the salt to the actual water. So here I'm just adding the chicken breast to my to my boiled salted water. Just make sure that this water is heavily salted. It's super, 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 super important that, you know, there's, there's a lot of salt in here. Really, there's no limit to when you're adding salt to, to something that you're going to boil. And uh, this chicken should be cooked completely all the way through in around 15 to 20 minutes. 
Now, when boiling your pasta, you, you really want to stick to your to, to the directions on the box. So, uh, once again, I'm dumping this pasta into boiled salted water. Super important that this is all salted really well. Usually, it cooks in 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, but uh, I usually like to stir it like 3 to 4 times during the cooking process just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And, uh, you know, the pasta doesn't stick to itself either. So once the chicken is cooked, you want to take it out and you want to start to shred it. So using two forks, you want to grab, you want to use one fork to grab the chicken and another fork to actually shred the chicken. You want to shred this chicken until everything is shredded. One, one precaution I like to take is actually cutting one of the chicken breasts in half. Just to make sure that both are completely cooked through. It's, you know, uh, it's, it's my safety precaution and I just hope it, and I just, just think it's really necessary because you never know these chicken breasts are really thick and, um, it won't actually affect the final product. Because, you know, all the, the chicken is shredded. So, uh, for this recipe, I decided to do barbecue mac and cheese because it's super simple, it's super affordable, and I didn't want to make something too complicated for, you know, you know, someone who might be a beginner. So, once the pasta is done, you want to drain it under a metal bowl uh, to conserve the pasta water because you'll need it later for the sauce. So, I put the pasta, I put the pasta right back into the pot, and then I just set it aside. So, then... Uh, for the sauce, you want to melt some cream cheese and some, some chicken broth. And then once it's all melted, you want to add some of the pasta water, or I say like two tablespoons. And then you want to add your powders, you want to add your peppers. And then just keep stirring, keep stirring, because you do not want any lumps in the sauce. And um, once you're adding the spices, they're going to lump up really quickly. So, so you want to make sure to immediately stir them. Also, I wanted to bring attention to uh, to a very special event this week, which is Transgender Awareness Week. It's super important that we appreciate and, and bring representation to individuals that are tra transgender. And uh, I think it's really important to mention that Sarah McBride, who's uh, a trans icon, just recently became the first trans state state senator in the U.S. So, uh, after, after you've incorporated everything, you see that there are barely any lumps, okay? You want to add the mozzarella cheese and, and just keep stirring until it's melted and the sauce has become really, really thick. So then you want, once the sauce is like thickened, you want, want to mix it with the macaroni that you set aside. I like to serve this dish in either a plate or some tray. I personally prefer to serve it in a tray because, you know, th this, this dish is more oriented towards parties and generally it just looks nicer. Either way, you need to assemble this dish. So first you want to put the pasta at the very bottom. Then you want to add a layer of the shredded chicken and then a big glob of the barbecue sauce. And finally, some some fresh ch chopped cilantro. You want to chop this really finely and make sure that you wash it really well, well before you chop it. Because this cilantro is not going to be cooked, like, you know, in this hot meal. So, um, it's really important that you wash, wash it, especially during these times. Because uh, if you don't, you know, you're eating something that came straight out of your grocery store or whatever plastic bag you put it in. Just make sure that you wash the really really well so thank you so much everyone for watching that was pretty much the recipe i hope you guys can make it i hope everyone's super safe clean and productive this quad and uh, i hope everyone enjoys interesting i'm kind of getting hungry farah what about you yes me too natalie honestly i wish i had a snack right now i've been craving some pie recently Oh, really? On that note, I think we should introduce our next activity. All right, Xavier, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. The pieing contest! 
We all know how much you loved this activity last year. I mean, how could you not? There's nothing better than watching your grade reps get pied in the face. Starting right now, you have one minute to vote for who you want to get pied. The voting link is in the comments, so go vote right now. I'm speaking up one more. We're gonna rock the house. Rock. Yeah, yeah. The party's on. Now everybody makes some noise. Go on, scream and shout. We will rise right. because we stuck together. Champions want it all. We're all in this together. Sun up popping in, it's now time for us to transition into our teacher, secretary, admin, and support staff appreciation messages sent in by all of you. So without further ado, let's check in on what our student body has to say about our beloved staff at St. Francis Xavier Secondary School. Student Advisory Council and all of Xavier's student body, I'd like to forward a huge thank you to all of the staff at our school who have really helped us cope through this difficult time. We know that things haven't been easy for students, but we also recognize that it's been hard to manage and oversee all of this as administrators as well. So for that, we thank you, and we look forward for the continuing support between students and teachers as the year progresses. We hope that you guys enjoyed our very first ever virtual pep rally. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to join. We know that things have been difficult since March, which is why Student Council has been working tirelessly throughout the year to help provide students with a variety of online initiatives and events. 
Fish is all to help promote both school spirit and morale. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at FXTigers to stay up to date with all of our virtual adventures. And with this, we conclude our first pep rally of the year. We hope that you enjoyed all the amazing activities that we had planned today, and we can't wait to continue introducing more events, initiatives, activities, and challenges. So with that, you can now return to your class, and good luck with Quadmester 2.